Okay, so in this video I want to talk about buying a home. We've talked about selling a home before, but when you're buying a home, not only do you have to pay the cost of the home itself, but you also have to pay some additional fees on top of that. Uh, we call it stamp duty, as in the government needs to put a rubber stamp on the contract. Uh, so it's the money that you pay for getting that contract saying, yep, it's all done. Um, we also call it transfer costs. So you might see it called stamp duty, you might see it called transfer costs. It's the same thing. All right, so stamp duty is calculated using the table you can see here. Uh, now, it says up to $250,000. Uh, the stamp duty is $1 per 100 or part of 100. Okay, so let's understand what that language means. It means that if, um, if the house was $100, you'd have to pay $1 in stamp duty. If the house was $200, you'd have to pay $2 in stamp duty. Uh, now, the interesting thing is the bit that says, or part of 100. That means that if the house is $100, you pay $1. But if the house is $107, you pay $2 in stamp duty. Okay, so it rounds everything up to the nearest $100. So if, you, if the house was $500, you'd pay $5 in stamp duty. But if the house was $523, you'd pay $6 in stamp duty. All the way up to $600. If the house was $600, you'd still pay $6 in stamp duty. So basically what it means for us is that we just have to round up. Uh, it also says that from $250,001 to $500,000, your stamp duty is going to be $2,500. That's um, the amount from 0 to $250. $2,500 plus $3.50 per every 100 or part of $100. So it goes up the more expensive the house. Finally, uh, if it's over $500,000, then you're going to have to pay $11,250 plus $3.75 per 100 or part of 100. So they're the, um, that's the three tiers of stamp duty that you might have to pay. Uh, now this textbook's a little bit outdated, so our stamp duty's changed over time. As long as you have a table like this though, you should be able to calculate it. Okay, so let's look at this question here. Find the stamp duty paid on a $720,134 house. Now, I've chosen a pretty strange number here. Uh, but that'll allow us to take a look at a few of the different things when it comes to uh, stamp duty. Alright, so let's look at what the stamp duty on this particular house is going to be. It's going to be stamp duty is equal to... Uh, now, it's over $500,000. So that's going to be equal to $11,250 plus... $3.75 for every $100 over $500,000. Now, the amount over $500,000 because that's the amount we need to calculate. We've got 11250 but we need to know how much over 500000 are we. So that's the cost of the house minus 500000 Now that's 220134 Now it says we have to pay $3.75 for every 100 over that. For every $100 over that. So now we need to know the number of 100s. Okay, the number of $100. So to figure that out, it's going to be fairly straightforward. It's this number divided by 100. And that'll give us how many hundreds. That's 2,201.34 hundreds. Uh, okay. So if it's, the price is two hundred and twenty thousand one hundred thirty-four, that means there's two thousand two hundred and one dollars thirty-four hundreds. Now we're going to have to round that up. We always round up. Doesn't matter how small that decimal is. The reason we round up is because for every hundred or part of one hundred. So this point three four is a part of a hundred. So 2,202. 
All right, so a final step here. We can go right back to the beginning of the question. Stamp duty is equal to 11,250 plus $3.75 times the number of hundreds. So the number of hundred dollars is 2,202. Eleven thousand two hundred fifty plus three dollars seventy five times two thousand two hundred and two. Okay, and we get a stamp duty amount here of nineteen thousand five hundred and seven dollars and fifty cents. All right, so that's the amount of stamp duty that this person that bought a house for seven hundred twenty thousand one hundred thirty four would have to pay on this property. Now you might get a last question, which is how much in total does the person have to pay? That's going to be fairly easy. Total paid. That's going to be equal to the house price plus the stamp duty. So in this case, 720,134 plus the stamp duty, $19,507.50. Put that into your calculator and you'll get an answer. 720134. $739641.50. That's the total amount that this person would have to pay. Okay, that's our buying a home. That's a look at stamp duty. Practice, practice.